Hello again. Well, most of us have, will have seen some rain push across the country as we've gone through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So Thursday is a day where we'll see the rain slowly clearing away from eastern and northern parts. Showers will follow to many parts of the country and for all of us, it's certainly going to be on the windy side. Now, one place that will start off Thursday morning wet will be across the north of Scotland with some quite heavy persistent rain for time here, accompanied by strong winds, quite a lot of low cloud across northern and eastern Scotland. Something a bit brighter coming into the central southern parts of Scotland, but showers already into the west of Northern Ireland at this stage. Many central western areas started of England and Wales starting off mostly dry and bright, but the rain lingering across some eastern counties. Nowhere is it particularly cold to start Thursday morning, though. And I think through the day we'll continue to hang on to the rain across the far northeast of Scotland, particularly Orkney and Shetland, where there'll be some stronger gale force winds to accompany the rain. Drying up for a time across the southeast of England, but I think another area of rain will develop here, perhaps through the middle part of the afternoon. And then elsewhere, it's a mixture of sunshine and showers. The showers quite slow moving across the central western parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, perhaps with the odd rumble of thunder in here, but blowing through quite quickly on brisk winds further south, which means there'll be some sunshine in between the showers. And in that sunshine, well, those temperatures will be up towards 20 or 21 in the southeast. A little bit cooler for the north, typically mid-teens for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Now on through Thursday evening, the rain will slowly clear away from southeast England, so a brighter end of the day here. It stays quite grey and wet and windy across the far northeast of Scotland, and elsewhere we might hang on to this showery theme. So certainly some downpours to watch out for on Thursday evening. Best of any clearer, drier weather, always further towards the east. Now low pressure has been well and truly in charge so far this week. And over the next few days, not a lot changes. Initially, we have low pressure anchored towards the northwest of Scotland, so showers spiralling around this, merging together to give longer spells of rain at times. Quite a lot of isobars on this chart, so it's going to remain quite windy. And after a brief respite for a time on Saturday, the next area of low pressure comes in. Potentially quite a deep area of low pressure, this. Some uncertainty as to its exact track at this stage, but it does look as though it's going to combine with some very high spring tides. So there is a risk of some coastal flooding at the end of the weekend, perhaps into the start of next week. So something we will keep you up to date on. So in summary for the next few days then, yes, it's staying unsettled, certainly a very autumnal theme, further spells of rain and some strong winds at times. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with all this, then the best place to do it is across social media, our fabulous app or YouTube. Take care.